Well, we're really good against the deck that tries to go all in with enchantments at least. <laughs> so we have no plays until five. We've got lands. Yeah, this is a little sketchy. Um, Taking that mulligan if I get the option. Yeah, probably. Like, if if we knew our opponent was on a slow deck as well, then we could potentially keep. Um, but given that it's game one, probably leaning towards a mulligan. Yeah. All right. So this is better. Right. This is de decent. And it's better solely because we have the sergeant at arms, which is hilarious. Okay. Uh, that's good land. It's not a good one to toss. Yeah, I think it's it's a reasonable one since we kind of need a fourth land and. As far as lands go, it's a pretty good one. Yeah, it's a little bit sketchy. Okay. And we didn't have a tur turn to play anyway, so... Yep. I might have actually played a plane so we could keep a black and white mana, or, or well... Nah, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Or the folly here every single time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess it didn't matter if we played the planes or not. There's no one mana place, while well, at least we have... Fungal Infection in black, so I guess playing the Swamp on one was fine. Alright, so opponent blue right now. We're playing, what is this, Orzhov? How do I say that? Yeah, Orzhov. Orzhov, okay. And we went first? Uh, yes, we did. Okay. Thank you. Alright, oh my god. Okay. All right, uh, so this is a fine board for us. I guess it's just play black mana and pass. White yep. mana and pass. All right. So I know your cat probably doesn't really care about flowers, but look at this. Do you want to show them? Yeah. You can show them. Here. Just You're going to make me sad. So she left with my money, came back with these. I feel like we got ripped the fuck off. <laughs> this was $8. This whole thing was $8. That's, that's not reasonable. No, it's not. A gigantic bouquet for $8. But what do we need a bouquet of flowers for? What do they do for us? What is their value? Quality of life. Legend, they chime in on this one. What is the quality of life benefit of a bouquet of flowers? Look at it. I mean, it's amazing. Nope. Yeah, I mean... I'm playing Acolyte here. Uh, yep. Yep. And we're milling all of our removal. Let's take a look. Pegasus and settle the score. Nice. I mean, we have a memorial in place. It could be worse. It's the only creature cards, so I can't bring a uh, removal back, right? Yeah, true. But that's why we have six or seven removal spells. Sure. So we can mill four of them? Yep. I hadn't thought about that when I was drafting. I never thought about the redundancy aspect. Uh, I'm blocking with the, uh, the Sergeant Arms. Seems fine, yeah. So I guess we're gonna get some dub value. Yeah, and hope they don't have a uh, any removal, any blink bounce. Of an eye. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If you get a mana, are you playing Feral Abomination? Yeah, I think so. Me too. Alright, so dub plus the Vangel is fine. Yep. Or invoke the divine is probably not gonna be great in this matchup. Probably not. But if it was like another evangel probably wouldn't have done much either so i don't i think we want to get the value from the enchantment on the turn rather than sit to block i mean a it trades better yeah. for a five rather we race better and b also uh as soon as he has any removal we're going to be punished by it indeed okay i think scholar is just fine in this draft two two threes are fine in fact, At really... first, I thought a card like Scholar would not be great, but especially in the wizard deck, you, you oh, do want a critical mass of wizards. Yeah. Thank you, Galg. Quality of life is keeping my... <laughs> we had an $8 donation, Ellen, Aww. who says uh, the uh, quality of life benefit is keeping your wife happy. Oh, <laughs> Galg bought me flowers. There you go. No, I Aww. bought you flowers. Galg reimbursed you. <laughs> the stage coach. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Buscat, for the Thank sub. Thank you. All right, so we got immediately punished for our uh, enchantment. Yep. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. 
Whose side are you on? <laughs> um, what is this to recur? Three? So I can't even cast this and recur. Yeah, no, I, I would not uh, use Memorial here when we need land six for yeah. Abomination. Yep. I do, Busket, I do. I've been playing this for a couple weeks now. I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right, uh, so this is kind of what, I mean, no, to no fault of you, I'm not, I don't want this to sound accusatory to you because it's not. I, I mean, I, I signed off on all the draft picks and was there too, but this is often what's happening to me. I feel like I'm stuck with a bunch of mediocre creatures and that's about it. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, Welcome back, I mean, Cake is me. Sorry. We, oh, I could have maybe ended up in different colors, but it's hard to say. Like, I think our black cards are quite good. Most of our removals in black. So maybe white could have been something else. Okay. Ah, I didn't remember his ability. Okay. Yeah. What are you still blocked? I mean, we're um, racing and it's going to air damage. It's a, it's an ambitious block for sure, but then again, we're probably dead anyway. All right, so dead card. We do have removal here. Um, yeah, swinging because we can't block. You're moving Sphinx here or waiting? Um, so what are the benefits of waiting versus doing it now? If we let them untap, they could have like a syncopate or a wizard's retort, which yep. would be pretty painful. Uh, the upside of waiting is let's say they try and, I don't know, equip their Sphinx for some reason. Then yeah. we kind of get a bit of value there. I think we're far enough behind that we should risk getting blown out in favor of the small chance of them wasting mana or something else. Okay. But it probably doesn't matter too much. If we get countered, we'll look like an ass, but I agree with that that outcome. So lower percentage. Because, uh, as you said, we're quite behind now. I mean, they've had good answers, right? Had, yeah, we uh, drew the worst part of our deck, I think. And our opponent's deck looks pretty decent, so... That's good news, because we have to play them again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Nine to the face. We're still alive. What card do we want to draw? Was it planes? Um, I think it I was mean, planes. Yeah, right? Have worse draw than, than planes, but... Uh, you think we had worse draws and planes there? I don't. With that board state? All right. Could, what do we could have drawn a memorial to glory? We saw two <laughs> removals. That dub's looking pretty foul right about now. Yeah. Um, divine can go too. Yeah. I'm actually looking at uh, the. Well, Devest is not terrible. He saw some stuff we wouldn't mind getting rid of, but I wouldn't mind uh, the. Where's the demonic vigor? Actually, don't mind that. Let's just trade with the Sphinx. And if he is playing on our air units, let's just trade. He's, we've seen now the 2-2 two, two flyer, the 3-2 flyer, a bunch of 2-3s. It kind of plays around the removal with an enchantment. It's a kind of low value enchantment, but like we ran out mm -hmm. of we ran out of value there, not out of uh, tempo. I think I'm looking at Cabal Paladin first as a card to bring in just to have some more creatures on the ground. Our 2-2s two did not seem to trade very well. No, but a 4-2 might be a little bit better. Also, race is better if they try and attack us. Okay. Um, I think we still need to add one card, right? Yeah, it can be the Vest or the uh, or the Vigor. I think it's about our only options. Um, Could Evangel? It is Could true. Triumph? It is true that uh, our okay. three two flyers with plus one plus one match up better against the Sphinx. Um, so I like the don't know if we want. Yeah, Triumph might be okay at racing. And it's it's less committal than an enchantment since yeah. if they do kill our largest creature we might still get a bit of value out of it. Alright. So not so great there. We didn't even lose to like a bomb, we just lost to the fact that Sphinx was more value than our entire deck combined. I mean, yeah, we mulliganed and they two for one us with the enchantments, so not too surprising. Yep. Hmm. You like right. this one? Nah, I, th I think I would mulligan. We could very quickly, I guess this would be plays early. We could turn two Evangel, turn three, bring it back. 
Yeah, that's uh It's a combo. That's a play that's technically a play you could make. <laughs> those are indeed the way those cards interact. Um yeah, this looks fucking garbage. We have a play on four if we draw lands. I'm keeping the land, we can't play anything in yeah, hand. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But this looks so bad. Right about now, I am regretting the uh, not picking Troxos or whatever his fucking name was. I mean, would we have ended up in a good Troxos deck? It's hard to say. We were offered we would have ended two, up with uh, two Volta. No, two. There were two. Two? Yeah. All right. But only two. I really hate the idea of casting down the Warcaller. Yeah, I think we hope and wait to draw land so we can Omnivore and block. Yeah. I'd cast that down. Yeah, probably. Feels bad. But it does feel so bad. If we miss a if we miss a land, then we're probably too far behind. There's the missed land. Okay. Although I guess if we were gonna miss a land, then we could still cast down. So maybe. It was fine to wait, but... Alright. You settling? I'm getting the Omnivore out. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I think we Omnivore. Yeah, it's weak to all of his removal. We've seen removal from him. But our only other piece of removal in hand now. I'd prefer not to do it. Oh, Icy Manipulator. Can wow. I settle the fucking Icy Manipulator? We just removed our Artifact Enchantment Destruction too. Yeah. That's too bad. All right, what now? Yeah. I think I want to play the slower removal now. I don't know. I actually don't think it makes any difference whatsoever. This is instant speed. I can just wait. I think both of those are fine for instant speed removal. So settling the Phoenix is a little bit of upside since it exiles it, and there's a small chance the Phoenix comes back with the ability. Um, so that's also worth considering. Sure. So... The question is, let's say your opponent plays a Sphinx next turn, then we're gonna regret using Settle the Score now. So I'm probably just passing with Vicious Offering up. You attacking with the Omnivore because we're never gonna be allowed to block, or you like him wasting his mana? I don't really feel like... I don't want to let him use his mana. Do you think damage is relevant here? Um, Not really. We're, we're gonna play a slow grindy game with Soul Salvage in hand anyway. So we're not really trying to race. So anything that slows down the game is good for us. Turns out uh, playing five turns, six turns, and only playing one card is not super strong. True. And we want to make sure to use Vicious Offering before they get to attack in case of Run Amok. Okay. That only works on attacking creatures. It's a really good thought I hadn't had. So we're killing the Phoenix with this? Yep. Deck's aggressive enough, you might be playing that too. No white mana. You dropping a paladin right. and trading? I think I am oversettled the score. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. Well, for being stuck on one color, we're not doing too badly. Hmm. That's how you see this? <laughs> I feel like we're doing pretty badly. Alright, well. Okay, we're at three. We're not dead yet, technically. We can settle the score on the Journey Mage if he has nothing in hand and no creatures this turn. I'm usually pretty optimistic, but... <laughs> Ooh. Oh wow, the Goblin Barrage with Kicker. Is it the Kicker sacrifice? Oh, he sacrificed an artifact or Goblin. All right. Yeah, he sacrificed the Icy. Yeah. So that felt like we had a fairly good shot at that. <laughs> I mean, our draws were pretty bad in both games. Mulligan both I times to get better we'll... too. I think I would I'd feel pretty bad if I left you right now. <laughs> Gotta get that first win first. All right. All right, I'm happy to have you uh, on board for the next one. I might tweak the mana. I know it makes no difference on an end of one, but um, our deck seems weak enough that missing colors might be the end of it. 
So yeah, we could even consider an 18th land, honestly, since oh. we have two memorials. Our deck is so fucking low value that an 18th land seems like asking for floods seems like asking to lose. I mean, it, it's mainly because we have the two memorials. Otherwise, I wouldn't suggest it. If we had any draw, I would totally be into it, but I don't think so. I think I might rather main deck Triumph over Dub, too. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, we got really blown out by having the enchantment uh, last time. Um, I think that's about it for changes that we can make. Don't have a lot of playable cards. It's funny, M19, I draft like 50 playable cards every single time. It's funny to only get so few out of this. Yeah, it's weird. We had a few packs where there just weren't any cards whatsoever. I think like in general that. there's fewer, like, there's more kind of mediocre cards in Dominaria, I guess. Uh, but some of the powerful cards in Dominaria are way better than the ones in M19. Yeah, I suppose that actually makes sense, right? Because, I mean, that's kind of how you... That was the best definition of a bomb that I heard from my chat was essentially uh, a card way over the power curve. And if the power curve yeah. is lower in general, then the good cards are particularly stand out, right? Or the yeah. really good ones. So we got a mulligan again, which feels pretty painful. Um, because we don't have any land. Making three consecutive mulligans. Yep. All right. Is this drafting with bots or real players? Uh, would you consider yourself a bot or a real player, Legend? I mean, I've been accused of not uh, showing too many emotions, but I think I'm still a human. Okay. Um, then it is drafting with humans. If you meet against players for the draft itself, uh, it's currently a, just against bots. They have told us. I asked the developer live on his stream. Have to keep this, right? We have removal. It sucks to keep this, yeah, but yeah, I can't yeah. go down to five. Um, he did say that they were intending to make the drafting against other players when they could. Huh. That's an interesting one. I'm keeping it. It's on the bottom of the deck. It's dead. We have no way to shuffle our deck. Um, so probably better yeah than yeah. an average card and i'm gonna have to toss that i will toss this against pretty much whatever which feels bad but i think rather than drawing like a creature i think this is probably the better yeah even if we have to use it on their two or three drop it's probably fine i know what you're asking Virskin. I, I answered your question i just made a joke first how do you oh, feel about gonna get killed i'm gonna cast <laughs> down it i'm gonna I just so had vicious, vicious offering. offering or Kazan. I think I have vicious offering because a green deck yeah. has a few very large creatures that aren't even legendary. So yeah, I'm with you on that. He's like, who removes elves? I remove elves. Get used to it. Nice. All right. Well, we're gonna get to play magic this game at least. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We even have the Acolyte plus Memorial combo. For the dream, when it removes our... Oh, wait, we have no cards. Th that is our most valuable creature in the deck. We got our lands. We're going to play Wind Grace on five. I'm excited. We haven't done anything before then. But neither has our opponents. So. He played the Elf. We slowed him down by a turn with the uh, Vicious Offering. That's Are you casting down? Time. I'm casting it down. Nah. Really? I th mm. Like, we have a few draws that invalidate the Crows and Druid. Like the, the Omnivore, the Sergeant at Arms, uh, or six drops if we get to them. And I don't think this is necessarily going to come down to a race. Okay. So I think we keep it. I would have, on my own, uh, killed it because I have such a low value out of my hand that I would expect that my actual win condition is beating him down with the Acolyte and hoping he doesn't kill me on the ground. All right, we milled a land, uh, call a cab, which we can't bring back with Memorial and Corsair. Yeah. Feels... Would have liked to draw those cards. Yeah, I would have liked to draw call a cab in particular. Corsair also invalidates their Crows and Druid. He didn't want to trade his druid for oh, acolyte. That's weird. So weird. Suspect they might have like an arbor armament or some other trick. Okay. Well, um, arbor armament kills us any way we look at it because it puts tokens on us. So um, he could have done that on the attack and he has his mana open. Shouldn't, I don't understand. Yeah, indeed. It makes no sense to me yeah. in this play. I'm attacking him. Yep. And I'm playing the memorial of folly or whatever the fuck it's called. And then uh, we're going to... 
Yeah, we're gonna get the two for one here. Oh, this is the one. I, th I thought it was. I was thinking the uh, the one that put three minus one minus one tokens. Arborman's fine. I'm gonna cast down it and get two for one value. Yeah. yeah, that's the one you were talking about. That Indeed. explains why he would wait too. Yeah, you know the one from uh, what is it? What's the other set that does uh, that you can cycle it or put three minus one minus one counters on it? That's what I thought we were dealing with. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. The what's the name again? I haven't played that card in a constructed deck in the sideboard at once. Yeah. Um. I don't remember what it's called either. Stinging shot. Stinging, Stinging shot, shot. That's, that's right. It. Yep. Turns out our opponent has drafted a deck nearly as bad as our own. Yeah. That's exciting. So far, they haven't done much. Well, we got seven lands on curve, so that's good. He's got six. Oh, that's a good one. Well. Settle so the score is going to look pretty nice there. Yep. All right. Just, I'm gonna play the one we drew too. And he's playing black. I guess I'll hold the planes. We already have all the mana we could use, right? Um, I mean, we could, like, let's say they do cast the kicked skin witch, then we kind of want to land in place so we can use our memorials and still have six lands. Yeah, I suppose if it's only skin witch we're worried about, then uh, playing this makes no difference. The the arguments against playing the land is, let's say we draw two or three more lands in a row. Yep. Then we want to start holding lands, and if they then play the skin witch, we yep. get punished. If okay. we play the land here, if they play skin witch exactly next turn, we get punished for not playing the land. So that's the. I'll take the risk if it's exactly next turn. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Would you memorial to glory here just for the damage? Since he, we have two removal in hand, and he's not fucking doing anything. So yeah, that seems reasonable. Can attack first, and then. And Make then, two one. Uh, is a memorial instant speed? Can you double check? It, I believe it is, but I'll double check. It is. Um, uh, then there's no reason. To do and the only one we can bring back is a Pegasus, which I don't actually think is actually that good of a target. Nah. So. Yeah, I would just make the token son of turn. Okay. Oh God, it's. It's a big boy. It is a big boy. Bird force. Well, uh, make sure to Blessed Light it before it makes a token. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to do it right the Which I now. guess means doing it now and then we don't get the two tokens. That's fine. But I think that's still better than... Oh, absolutely. All right. Another Ooh. questionable card. You excited by that? We only have one guy in our graveyard. And it's the Pegasus. I mean, it's, it's, so this is a six mana Pegasus. <laughs> yeah, is that is that better than just Memorial to Glory though? No, no, no. We're definitely using Memorial here, but okay. I imagine at some point one of our creatures is gonna end up in the graveyard. I'm not convinced we're gonna get a creature that's different than the Acolyte. I think it's time for a land draw next turn. We had an Acolyte on five, and that's been our play this game. Man, we're really good against the green 7 and 8 drop deck. Yeah. Alright. There's that land. Uh, I'm going to hold it in hand. And I'm going to settle the score here. Seems reasonable. We shade one turn off with that memorial. Such a play. Maybe. If he plays no... Actually, it doesn't matter. He has to play an air blocker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. One win for this deck. This monster nice. of a deck. My opponent drafting bad is my win condition. Hmm. I don't know that this was a... I don't know that we drafted bad. I mean, the deck turned out bad. Did we draft bad? It's not the same thing. All right, would you try to speed this deck up at all and try to get under him since he had very little in the terms of creatures? 2-2 two, two doesn't do shit for us, but maybe the 4-2? The 4-2 the seems actually decent, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at, too. Um, what are we getting rid of? The Soul Salvage? Soul Salvage, I think, yeah. They yeah. didn't show us any removal. Didn't see any artifacts or creatures, though. Yeah, Invoke can probably also go and just add a random creature. Okay, well, the only creatures we have is literally two. Our... Paladin and Evangel. You want an Evangel over that? Or to Divest? Divest seems pretty good versus them. True. Divest is actually not bad against them. Uh, probably casting it on turn 6 
so we can grab both thorn elemental and yeah the a drop like right. normally i'm not a fan of divest but as a sideboard card it can be serviceable and compared to evangel like i don't want to draw either of these on turn seven right yeah like, makes sense or turn 10 or whatever so although that game if we'd drawn evangel on turn 10 we would have been the happiest guys on the board <laughs> So what did he put in? Do you think he changed to blue and runs all hexproof creatures? How do we? Yeah, we're so fucked for the turtle. This is like a playable yeah. hand, like twos, yeah. threes, and everything. Oh my god! First hand we can keep. Feels, yeah, feels good. It does feel good. Uh, all right, so let me just track these real quick. And we're on the draw, so we probably get to draw our fourth land in time. That's exciting. Did we go first last game? Um. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went first because we cast our two mana removal spell under Elf. That's right. Who's out again? <sighs> I wish I had removal for. I wish I had that. Were either those creatures legendary? Is a Thorn Elemental legendary? Uh, nope. Is the Sapperling Generator uh, legendary? Nope. Okay. Uh oh. So his Blink's deck is curving out. yeah, like totally, totally different than last game. So I'm evangeling here. I guess there's the yep. only other playable card is cast down, and I can't imagine you want me to cast down the 2-2. Two -two. They can get pretty good value out of their trick if they attack with everyone now. Yeah. What is this? Chain or Stormant? Wow. It's not a legendary creature, right? So it just fucking dies. Nope. Okay. Yep. I'm blocking? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Alright, so we could kill the elf if we wanted to. I think I do actually want to. Yeah, seems fine. Okay. Do you want to wait? You want to do it now? I think we do it now. He can cap it in response, presumably. So, okay. Yeah. Right, he's seen us play heavy removal. It's weird that he wants to play Chainer's Torment versus us. Indeed. And Chainer's Torment are usually only very good in hyper aggro decks, which their deck didn't really seem like. Yeah, although he had a hyper aggro opening. True. I mean, if the ter first two turns count as an opening, I don't know. Unkickered okay. Skin Witch also seems weird versus our deck. Like a Kickered Skin Witch would be pretty good. So I'm gonna Omnivore and. Cast down on next turn, right? It doesn't it comes in with summoning sickness, right? Indeed. Okay. I think I've only seen it played versus me like twice, so. I guess Sentry would have been okay here too. Maybe better. Since... I mean, both Paladin, Sentry, and Omnivore are all acceptable plays. Well, surely the Sentry is the best then, since Sentry can't be blocked. Threatens to trade with his creature, so he's not attacking. Can't they be did blocked. Show us, they did show us two tricks in the first game, so we have to consider those. Sure. If they have Arbor Armament, then Omnivore doesn't die. If they have the plus two, plus two. Ooh, Ancient Animus. Well, it's fine, I guess. Yep. So at the moment, I'd rather this be the 2-2 two -two guy, just because it fits our curve better. Uh, we have no options here. We have to kill this or yep. die. So do it and main I phase, I guess. We do it now in case they go like planes and then make it indestructible somehow. Yeah, exactly things he could be doing. There's no reason not to. Okay. Well, we're doing fine if they don't play anything here. <laughs> Always a bad spot to be in. We're fine if our opponent bricks entirely. Alright. All right. Um, I'm centering for the reasons we talked about. Sure. We also have the Cabal Paladin plus Bardic Wander combo going. <sighs> That's so good. It will. It's funny because in this game, uh, our best case scenario is we do as much damage to our opponent as he's already done to himself. That's the best case scenario. Yep. That's not true. We've seen that Druid. He might heal for ten, and then we could out damage his him him on himself. Well, looked a little suspicious to me. Um, they could still have the Arbor Armament here. I think we um, just play into it anyways, though. 
Yeah. I mean, we have, I guess we, we could, what's our instant speed removal? Only the exile or the other offering? I don't want to wait on those before I attack here. Indeed. Yeah, seems fine. If we lose, it's, it's a one for one trade and we have value in the hand. So I'm okay with that. Didn't have it. All right. So they probably have one of those expensive green cards in hand, is my guess. Okay. We've got to settle, so I'm not too yep. worried about it. Didn't want to kicker that. Didn't want to save that for kicker. It's a seven mana kicker. He's got three, four, five, six men on the fucking board, and he's at nine health with two flyers. I don't understand that play. Play looks terrible to me. Yeah, it's a bit. Uh, Are you going to be generous? Weird. Are you going to say something generous? <laughs> <laughs> like, strange. I, I usually use the word interesting to describe plays I don't agree with. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Sergeant or Cabalist here? The Paladin. Um, I'm playing the Paladin. If he pushes with everything, I'm going to trade other things. If he pushes with the 2 3, I'm probably trading the Paladin anyways. Makes sense, yeah. It's more mana efficient. Yeah. And if, if we, we draw land, white we mana, we get to go Knight yeah. and Sergeant, yeah. Yeah. Are we going to win a game? Is that allowed with this deck? Two games in a row? I guess we're yeah. counting it too early. He's got seven mana. Primordial Worm, Fine. which is the everything. Sure, he's dead on board, so I'll just block. So what do you want to kill? Yes, yeah, do we want to think about that? I particularly hate the token. It annoys me. I think killing the elf is a higher value play than killing the token, though. Yeah, uh, but this one is the most annoying on the board, so I'm killing it. All right, fine. Okay. Holy shit, this deck took a win. That, I am... I, if I were you, I would skedaddle immediately because this is the high <laughs> note of the draft. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, probably got to go. But yeah, uh, yeah thanks for letting me join you. Uh, thanks uh, for the draft, man. Uh, good luck for the rest. I'll let you hopefully know how it turns play, out. Yeah, hopefully you play against all the big green decks. Yeah, hopefully I do because I think otherwise we're going to be finishing right here. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right.